Adam Smale here. I'm going to show you that you can get started improvising jazz by knowing these five chords. I bet you like a straight shooter, right? So I'm going to give it to you straight. Guaranteed. I almost know this for a fact. Guaranteed, you want to sound great, but when you try improvising, it just doesn't sound like, well, jazz, right? You're probably used to thinking more or less one scale. Like in the blues. Or most rock situations. But in jazz, you have many different chords and key shifts to navigate, so scales aren't usually the best approach. You're probably where I was several years ago. You're probably trying to crack the nut on how people do it. Don't worry, like I said, I was in your shoes once. I've spent more than 20 plus years studying how to play great sounding jazz lines, and my channel is all about sharing what I've learned and applied on many gigs and songs that I've written. I wanna show you the secret code so that it's not a secret anymore. Being able to play over a string of chord changes starts with knowing the notes that each chord has in it. The chord tones, the notes that make up each chord, are what you will mostly be concentrating on. These will be the notes that you use to help weave a line through chord changes. But you have to know where to find them. Grab your guitar or instrument of choice and let's get started. The first chord that I want to talk to you about is the minor 7 chord. As with all the chords we'll be talking about here, it's made of four notes. Root, flat 3, 5, flat 7. So if our chord's root is C, it would be C minor 7. The notes would be C, E flat, G, B flat. And by the way, if this sounds a little bit mumble jumble to you, check out this video link if you want to brush up on your chord knowledge. I explain all this in much more detail. This lesson is kind of the next step after that video. I like to get people playing the notes up and down each string, but right now let's pick a spot on the fretboard and play all the notes in one general area. My advice is to play slowly at first and think of all the names of the notes as you play them and be conscious of what each note means to that chord. Then you can speed it up later. When you feel comfortable with knowing where all the notes are, move to the next chord, which is F7. Seven chords are root three, five, flat seven. The notes for F7 would be F, A, C, E flat. Practice them the same way, slowly thinking the note names and the function of the note in the chord as you play them. Let's take a look at the next chord, B flat 6. You might be thinking, why not B flat major 7? Probably heard of that chord. And you see it a lot. Well, let me explain. If you want to get a traditional jazz sound, think a 6 chord instead of major 7. What do I mean by that? So even if the it says B flat major 7 on the chart, or if everyone else is playing B flat major 7, you're thinking B flat 6. As far as the chord functions goes, they're equivalent to each other. Now, I'm not saying you can't play the major seventh note, but we're going to go for a more traditional sound here. And without getting too into it right now, 
there is no room between the major seventh and the root to place any passing tones, no approach notes, or any spicy notes in between because they are literally right next to each other. So a six chord is root three, five, six. The notes are B flat, D, F, G. Here they are in our region on the fretboard. By the way, what are we supposed to do with these notes now? Well, we're not done yet. Remember, I promised you five chords. Right now, we're just figuring out where those notes are first. You can't use them if you can't find them, right? The next chord is minor seven flat five. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's like our minor seven chord, but with a flattened fifth root flat three flat five flat seven in this case e minor seven flat five the root is e the flat third is g the flat fifth is b flat and the flat seven is d here's how the notes land in our fretboard position <laughs> other chords, play them over and over until you get the notes under your fingers as we say. Next is the diminished seven. This chord can be a little bit scary at first because it sounds a little strange. It looks a little strange. What the heck do you play over it, right? Well, you guessed it. Think chord tones first. Diminished seventh is root flat three flat five and a double flatted seventh. The chord we need is B diminished seventh. The notes are B, D, F, A flat. Let's get them under our fingers. <laughs> you have these important notes of all five chords plotted out on your fretboard, the next step is to put these chords in an actual chord progression. You're in luck because I've created a PDF that you can download that will get you playing on these chords. It'll have exercises and a chord progression for you to practice playing over all five of the chords that we covered here. Normally, my PDF lessons are between $5 and $10. This time, just $2. Go get that and come right back. I want to share something with you that will get you to that next stage after this. If you want to know how to get to that next level, how to use the chord tones in a super smart way, well, watch this video that explains all that in detail to get you on the right path to sound more like jazz. Click on the link and I'll fill you in on how it's done.